In recent times, ABBA's official networks have been posting outtakes and photos from 1977 that have never been seen before, and many other outtakes and rare material. Is this a teaser for something? Today, I want to bring it all together and discuss. Hey, hey! So, it all started in December last year when ABBA's official networks posted this rare photo for the 45th anniversary of ABBA the movie. They wrote, everyone needs a coffee break now and then. In February this year, we got another photo taken during the filming of ABBA the movie. And for International Women's Day, another photo with Agneta and Frida from behind the scenes taken by Barry Levine. In May, once more, a photo taken by Barry Levine of Agneta during filming of ABBA the movie back in 1977. In June this year, Agneta and Frida were back in another unreleased picture, eating ice cream. The caption says, photo by Barry Levine, hashtags ABBA Vault, ABBA the movie. And just this week, this photo was released, again from the making of ABBA the movie, with the same hashtags ABBA Vault and ABBA the movie, and taken by Barry Levine. This photo was actually uploaded in the wrong way and needs to be mirrored. Thanks to Guna Mo for pointing that out. So there we have all these rare and unreleased photographs of ABBA from this glorious time, taken by Barry Levine. In December last year, ABBA's Facebook wished us Merry Christmas from ABBA with this well-known photo from 1976, but again interestingly taken by Barry Levine. Barry Levine is an American photographer, film producer and soundtrack music supervisor who took many beautiful photographs of ABBA around that time and who shot arguably some of ABBA's most iconic sessions, including the one from 1977 at Stockholm's Royal Palace, Trottningholm. Monique Hovens, admin from the Facebook group ABBA Newsflash, wrote this in one of the comment sections. We have been waiting for the unreleased photos of Barry Levine for years and years. Suddenly they are appearing. It is time for an official photo book part two. Right, Sarah Russell? Sarah Russell, the creator from ABBAontv.com, and author of the ABBA Guide to Stockholm, left this comment. A photo book by Barry Levine is desperately needed. His session at Trottningholm in 1977 is always everyone's favorite. Please make it happen. Someone else replied, I don't think he's aware of how highly regarded and sought after his lovely photos are, or the fact that so many are hoping for a book. So let's stress this again today. Barry Levine's photos of ABBA are highly regarded, sought after, and would be wonderful to be properly released. In 2014, we got the first and so far only official photo book from ABBA. It was a beautiful collection of photos and it even went through the chronology by focusing on ABBA's eight original studio albums. It also had a touching foreword by ABBA themselves, introducing their photo album to us by saying that they were mostly touched by unseen photos which were taken on the spur of the moment and how these photographs are like a key to the past. This book was a very nice collection of photos in great quality and it had some wonderful rare shots, including this picture from Barry Levine showing Frida and Björn lying down in the garden of Trottningholm Palace. But in the end, there weren't too many unreleased photographs in the book. The fact is, in the past decade, ever since ABBA's Instagram channel was opened, they posted many rare and previously unreleased photographs of ABBA and their projects, all of which come straight out of the archives. They even posted these fascinating pictures of tape boxes for Waterloo, film boxes of the music videos for Summer Night City and Voulez Vous, and this picture from ABBA's tape archive, with the caption, One of Four Walls. In recent times, ABBA's official networks also posted these rare photos from ABBA's tour in 1975, which I have never seen before. And we even got this very unique photo from ABBA's early tour in 1973, giving us a marvelous glimpse into the vibes of this innocent concert atmosphere. And not too long ago, we actually got moving footage with this rare silent snippet, a previously unreleased outtake of Agneta during the filming of the music video for The Winner Takes It All. In the archives, there seem to be many outtakes from ABBA's music videos and much more film footage. We've also had behind-the-scenes material from 1976 when ABBA filmed their national commercials rehearsal footage from ABBA's concert tours, and more. Remember back in 2009, when suddenly two amazing vintage documentaries appeared on this marvelous DVD release, ABBA in Japan. 
documenting Abba's visit to Japan in 1978 and even from their final concert tour in 1980. In 2011, we even got more unreleased footage bringing us back in time on location with Abba. A unique making of showed Abba at the photo session for the Super Trooper album's artwork and filming the music videos, revealing stunning material that was newly assembled for this DVD on the deluxe edition of Super Trooper. All of this gives us an idea of the magnitude of stuff that is slumbering in those archives. Unreleased photographs, outtakes from ABBA's music videos, film material from rehearsals for ABBA's live concerts, and of course, live recordings as well. We're getting all these bits and pieces over the years spread across releases and other social networks. Next year, we know that Universal will celebrate the 50th anniversary of ABBA winning the Eurovision Song Contest. We always got something new in 1994, in 2004, and in 2014. What should happen with all of this material in 2024? My idea is I'm still in for a massive documentary series, an ABBA anthology. It would tell the story of ABBA solely by putting together ABBA's original vintage material, unreleased photographs, video sessions, film footage, outtakes, rehearsals, making of. It would go through their story chronologically and in depth, only with original vintage material. Instead of any outside narrator, this should be told by the four ABBA members themselves with voiceover, which is what they have also done for the audio guide for ABBA the Museum. It would be a huge documentary series over several parts focusing on ABBA's time together, how they created their music, shot their videos, took key photo sessions, went on concert tours, and it would also give attention to all the key people involved in ABBA's team, the Polar family. In addition, there could be a complimentary book, an anthology box on CD with outtakes from the studio, and new releases on Blu-ray of all of ABBA's music videos in high definition and the new restoration of ABBA in concert. Don't get me wrong, this is just an idea and this is not me demanding or requiring anything. Just an idea. So now over to you. What do you think or hope should happen with all of this material? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you think of all these new photographs from Barry Levine. Would you like to see a new ABBA photo book? And dear ABBA team, if you need help going through the archives, okay, I will do it. I'm offering you my time and curiosity. Alright, until then, hey